Welcome to Area of Effect Gaming. Please check out this highlight from today's video. I hope this video earns a like in your subscription. I encourage comments so that I can improve the channel. Today we're covering Star Trek Infinite. Let's get started. The goals for today's episode. Take a minute, pause the video if you need to read them. Otherwise, here we go. Keep AI advice on. No, let's turn that off. Tips are enabled. Yeah, close that. All right. We got to get our science vessels out, get them looking. This is our construction ship, which is used for building orbital and build some stations. stations. Once a star system has been fully surveyed, we can order our construction ship to move there and build research and mining stations. This is our galaxy. Most vessels cannot travel unlimited distances, with the exception of science ships. A starship's warp range determines the maximum reach it can move in a given direction. A yeah, ship's let's, warp let's range get that is determined energy. by its proximity to the nearest star base. Building star bases will increase our overall warp bubble, allowing our fleets to venture yeah, farther and into that, the unknown. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I start with four colonies. Fleets are the one, main organization one main fleet. of the Federation's forces under the umbrella of... This is our government ship. Its specialty is that it can be sent on missions to help our colonies achieve specific economic or military goals. Governors can also be sent to complete unique special projects that are of personal importance to them. Yep, so I just increased worker production with the governorship. Now, as long as he's on that planet, that's what he'll do. He'll boost the workers. So, take that fleet and explore over there. I think that's this Wolf 359. While all Starfleet vessels are technically science ships, these vessels are specifically designed to survey star systems for resources, research anomalies, and complete special projects. Thank you. Starbase Take a look at the space dock here. Uh, yeah, we we don't have enough to make a science ship. Brings a new system into the Federation. We can also capture hostile star bases. Thank you much. Turn you off. Yeah, let's get this going. Ooh, sends his belly. Alright, so that happens at the beginning of the first turn. I now have census belly against everybody. It does not mean I can declare war as the Federation. I can't just do that. Contact screen is where we can view all of the other civilizations we have established communication. We, we will do our best to understand you. Civilization. We can mm -hmm. increase our intelligence gathering I have to request a mission, but it's 600 on their colonies credits. And star bases. We'll just, uh, we'll, we'll send Durza here to improve relations. We want to get them integrated as fast as possible. Get it going again. Oh, no, I got science to do. Technologies are where we will dedicate the majority of our research. There are few limits to what our scientists can discover. It is recommended to keep each research slot filled with a scientist whose traits best suit them for their field of study. Once research has been assigned, a priority can be set which will place that technology. The leader's menu is where we can hire, dismiss, or assign governors, scientists, admirals, generals, and spies in new work. Spies are not immediately available upon game start due to extenuating political circumstances in the galaxy. If they are still unavailable at the time of this message, they will return shortly. Try to work with my science officers here and see if I can get a better combination. Because I want to maximize my bonuses on the science side. And with this version, or with this game, um, you can't just do one tech at a time, you can actually do three. So you use three scientists instead of one at a time.
you know, we'll do medical clinics. Uh, we gotta pick a doctor for that one. Uh, we'll do research speed for sure for physics. Let's see if we don't have a physics guy. Nope, yeah, I gotta build a science officer back on that ship. Put scientists on these two. Yeah, they're available. That'll work. Yeah, we'll do minerals on that one. We will need minerals for sure. And right, we'll uh, set a priority here on physics because we want to push physics stuff faster since it's the research speed side of things, so we'll probably get multiple updates for science speed through there. Notifications are small. We're basically going to stack science, to give updates and we're going to try to expand as fast as possible. Because our goal is to choke Edicts off the Klingons. that change the priorities of our economy through the weight of law. Most edicts carry a penalty, which can be viewed right. in the tooltip. We're going to go with the anomaly discovery one. Edict issued across the Federation. When we get a second one, we'll come back and do another one. There's another one that does, uh, like, survey speed or something. Let's really crank it up here. Oh, we've triggered the ashes of Kittimer. So, the Romulans just attacked the Klingons. Nope, oh, there we got the Cerritos. Nice. Incoming transmission. Alright, so the Cerritos is a science ship, but it also has the ability to do second contact which improves relations with species so it is a combat it, it, it it's in the military fleets but it acts as a science ship so we got an officer on her let send her out to explore incoming transmission we will do our best to understand you. Yeah, I'm trying to... I don't want to do cultural or research packs because that'll take away from our influence. Um, pretty much try to do everything else to get them to like us faster. Well, it looks like everyone's siding with the Bajorans. Uh, <clears throat> Post fact, I realized I did not do that. And there'll be repercussions. You'll see that in a later episode. Alright, so we're investigating the Kittimer stuff. Uh, yeah, so... Romulans attack the Klingons. Incoming transmission. Oh, so we got some established embassy. We'll do that. We That'll get us faster relations. Incoming transmission. Uh, we got, oh, another one. Oh, the Jamans. Romulans. True. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll do that. Because I want to build up some goodwill with them. Just so they don't uh, declare on me for any given reason. Since we want to focus we on the Klingons. Uh, Beta's had no on the research agreement. Yeah, we don't want to waste the influence. Yeah, I know it could go faster, but the whole process of integrating them takes a while. Not as long as other ones. They're fast-ish. But I don't want to lose the influence during that time. I can, I can get uh, opinion other ways. Construction finished All on right, schedule. So we finished that mining project. Let's go put it somewhere else. I usually try to focus on um, most at one time. So, like that research, I'll do that, and then I'll probably do that four crystal one next, or the four uh, mineral one next. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Cerritos is scanning. Oh, look at her, isn't she a beauty? That's absolutely beautiful. She's getting her science on. We have surveyed a new star system. Yeah, we'll do that later. It's too challenging right now. All right, scan to level. Cool. Incoming transmission. So Cerritos finished. Send Cerritos somewhere else. You know. On my other map, there was a, a third planet there, right in between all three of us, and it was a warp lane, and it's not there now, so I'm thinking the map randomizes the warp lanes, because they're not in the same places. Oh, they're operating a migrating treaty, sure. I think that pulls influence, but we will do our best to understand you. A new tradition to teach us more about ourselves. Discovery yeah, we're not going to do a protection pack. Too much influence. Uh, oceanic shipwreck. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go. We we're gonna to try to populate that planet. So I've got to go survey it. Send a construction ship to build we the have territory. A new star system. Build mining over there, Rigel. Start the game again. Maybe I'll slow it down just a little bit. All right, we finished surveying that planet. We're gonna kind of go deep here, see if we can find another civilization. And we're gonna send this other one on the other side, kind of do the same thing, go out until we find something. Actually, I'm just gonna send him straight out. I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. I'll survey on the way back. Sorry, I meant to explore, not survey. Yeah, I could build on Denobula or Ryza. But it takes so long to build a... Um, Colony ship that uh, it, they're already in my territory. I can do it later. Interstellar trade relies on established routes between planets that can be heavily safeguarded. Star bases receive trade value okay, from their so closest planets, I, which that's is the then collection range. to our homeworld, where it is converted to resources like energy. The trade hub. So you can build those modules under the star docks for trade. So it's a trade annex, is what it is. So that star dock reduces uh, upkeep on ships that are docked at it by 25%. Yeah, we're going to go and do a colony ship, and we're going to do Tellarites, because they get research from jobs plus 20%, since we're focusing on research, so we want to maximize our efficiency. Send that ship home. Don't look like there's the anything out there. The tradition screen is where we can view our civilization's tradition trees.
All right, so we get the we get the one on the left, the tree on the left. Every civilization gets their own version of it. I'm not sure yet if it's the same for everybody or if each has their own, you know, different specialty, but everybody has access to that one. And then the ones on the right are pretty much paired. I can either do defense or conquest. And I can do research or development. And I can do the one or the other on the other one. Construction finished on schedule. Send that ship out there, build that territory, and claim it, and then we'll. Uh, we already got our colony ship in construction, so when it when it's ready, we'll send it out there. Is that leader level? Yeah, unimportant. That's a small planet. Yeah, so we're gonna just explore a couple systems out here, see if we can't find anybody. Well, there's a black hole looking thing, so that could be a, a warp lane. We'll go check that out. We have established communications with another civilization. At least these signals appear to be sentient in origin. Oh yeah, well, first contact, there we go. A new tradition to teach us more about ourselves. Oh, we got... Construction finished on oh, schedule. Oh, we made contact with two. Alright, so we sent an envoy. That'll improve relations. Or that'll make contact, sorry. That's why you want to have an envoy free. Um, so if I have an envoy at a planet improving it, I should have one that's already halfway through a cycle or something. So in case I do get a first contact, I can assign him. At least that's how I do it. I'm just gonna bring him back to survey that one since it could be a Research planet not. wormhole. All right, we're done with research. Let's do sensors. Oh, Kittimer report. Okay. Oh, it came from the house of Magoth. All right, we are gonna destroy the logs. Um, because we don't want to be friendly with the Klingons. <laughs> we don't want them to know the details. We're evil. Just against the Klingons. I haven't decided if I'm going to do Section 31 or not. Or the, you know, the mission path that takes us down the evil side where we can declare war, but... You know, if the Klingon want it... We'll definitely be ready. No, nope, we got tradition available. Uh, let's go ahead. I think we're going to do research and undaunted exploration. Yes. So, serving in inhabitable planet gives us three times x science boost Mission update. Well, we're not the only things in the galaxy space whales yeah let's take the research oh no chicago was attacked I've seen that in all this three playthroughs I've done so far, or games that I've started at least. Alright, we'll go build that research station. And then we'll build that mining station. 
Alright, we got the colony ship. So we got a first contact milestone. Yeah, we're gonna go for I Unity. To teach us more about ourselves. Yeah. All right. Now we're in step two. Yeah, we'll do mining. Definitely always do mining if it's available. Oh, we got another tradition. tradition. We still got one, so can't add another one yet. And we'll build another science ship. Thank you. Yeah, I need to recruit a leader. I'll do that one. Yeah, if you guys want the details on any of these things, um, I did play for a while and I had to do a lot of speed ups um, and cuts. So if you want to see anything, just go back and pause it and take a look. We're going to siphon energy here, because uh, I'm going to need it, because I'm going to start buying alloys. Yeah, I'm going to move that colony ship. As soon as that anomaly is scanned, we're going to kick off that colonization. Research model. Hmm. Interesting. That's a big suit. 15 meters tall? Holy hell. That reminds me of that movie with the big robots and the aliens attacked. I can't remember what it's called. That's what it... It's like battle suits. That's crazy. M One million years old. I think we're going to go with military. Take the research and the uh, nanites. Yeah, we'll do scientist cap for sure. Since we are science based, we'll go survey a couple systems. that planet come on yep, click the colony ship there we go colonize um, let's name it Terra Nova yeah I mean I just told it to name it Terra Nova I guess that's a colony name so we'll do the planet Terra Prime and then the um, system we're going to name Terra Nova. Captain Uh oh. Yeah, we're not going to subject the kids to that. So that was like, uh, to increase our security, we have to mind melt the children, so, yeah, it was like, no. <laughs> You're not gonna mind melt the children. Oh, so we, yeah, we got a unemployment, we gotta build something. And consumption rates. Current levels of stability and planetary designation, if any, have been set. Planets can be set to be automatically managed here as well. We'll just add a mining district.
we will do our best to understand you. Yeah, definitely. We need to get that initiation process started. And now they should accept. There we go. We will do our best to understand you. All right, now we got to go back in and kick it off. Otherwise, it doesn't we will do really our best start. To understand you. There you go. We're going to start integration process. Um, now we're going to have to s assign an envoy. Uh, so I'm going to have to take one of them off a job. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take the guy that's already <laughs> improving relations. He's now going to switch to making him join. Construction finished on schedule. The mission tree shows the watershed moments in our field. Yeah, another space whale. Ooh, I'm going to take the influence on that one. Alright, so we're, we need six more surveys before we can finish that mission. Build more mining stations. Research station. So I got that spy ship, he's he's still in there, taking money. Ooh, colony development speed. Interesting. Yeah, that could be a agricultural planet. New technology has passed testing protocols. Ooh, sensors, nice. Yeah, we're gonna do um planetary power grid for sure. We're going to put the science person that's, that specializes in that. Now we just got to replace the science officer on that ship. A new tradition to teach us more about ourselves. Oh, traditions. We have surveyed a new star system. Yeah. We'll take that tradition one. Tradition accepted. We have surveyed a new star system. Yeah, you can't go very far in this game without a, an event interrupting your train of thought. So if, if it looks like I'm running around scatterbrained, it's because I am. Can't get two thoughts together without an event interrupting me, so... I'm just gonna push out and explore some more, because we need more surveys for the mission. Yeah, we need three more. We will do our best to understand you. Ooh, migration. Yes, you're in the middle of integrating. You should be done soon anyway. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, let's hear from them on screen. Usually I decide um, if they seem hostile, I'll go with the middle one. If they seem peaceful, I'll go with the top one, We've which kind of costs some investment. money. But it gives us more opinion right off the bat. And we got another space whale. Yeah, just acknowledge the senses belly. Yeah, I think I'm going to assign an envoy. Get them to like us better. Yeah, we'll get some unemployment, so... Based on the land plots, this is probably going to be... an agricultural planet, but 
right now I'm just gonna do minerals. And that's probably gonna be a forge world. Finish building. I'm trying to see if I got enough to build over there. And it looks like it's outside of the range, so I'd have to build an intermediary before I can get Dorvin. Which is kind of why I'm going to the right instead of the left. Oh, well, spy mission worked. We got some money. Go reassign that spy. Yeah, let's see if we can convert some pops to our principal. Make the Klingons like us. Right before we kill them. We have surveyed a new star system. Oh, the game never stops alerting you to things. Should be really close. Oh, still got two way. Research model. All right, we got some done. Oh, and we got a recruit. We'll New get her. New technology has passed testing protocols. So, um, I will uh, apologize. Some of these, are, they're going by really fast. Um, I edited the video before I voiced over. Um, just because of the, the timing this weekend, I didn't have a whole lot of availability when I recorded to actually record my voice um, because of we where my desk is. So, um, I voiced this over after. And the first four videos are going to be like that. Um, starting on the fifth video, I will be live voice, like I'll be talking as I'm playing. Um, we may co accomplish less, um, but it won't, I won't have to edit as much. And I'll have better timelines. I'll be set for 30 minutes and then I'll just stop. We have surveyed a new star system. No, oh, good. I think we're down to one now. Nope, nope, we finished. Yes. So I think we get an anomaly scanning bonus completing that one. Yeah, discovery chance and speed. All right, now we need 3,500 alloys to unlock the Enterprise. That is our current goal. That is what we're working on. I wanted to thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you think I earned it, and check out the playlist for this series up in the top right hand corner. We'll see you on the next one.